absolutely everything gets eaten. So every leaf off every eucalypt and wilbur tree and, and they just go through and just devastate everything. The old people, yes, remember, you say lo locus is uh, oh, in the uh, night, in 50s, uh, was a big problem. The sky uh, don't see the, the, the light. It's devastating. It's just like a hailstorm that wipes out your crop. And I mean, those days it was just part and parcel of, of bad luck. If we get enough locusts in one area, um, then the locusts will group together and, and form a swarm. And that uh, swarm will have a negative impact um, locally, and then it will also fly to other places and, and can have a pretty dramatic impact um, across the full region. For example, the desert locust plague during a plague year can negatively impact more than 60 countries and the livelihood of one out of every 10 people on the planet. My name is Ali Ubaji. I am a technician technical of plant protection in DPV office in Dakar, Senegal. very diverse team that goes beyond my lab at ASU to other collaborators at ASU and, and other universities, institutions around the world. By working with them and understanding the system and how it interacts, we can think about fine-tuning it. So we can think about ways to promote farmer livelihood and landscape sustainability and to decrease the probability and severity of locust plagues. I think that we began working with the idea of not only reacting to the problem in terms of just uh, helping find uh, focuses to control, but also to think about, you know, in more medium and long-term scale. With the Global Locust Initiative at ASU, essentially what we're doing is facilitating fundamental and applied research, building and maintaining a network of collaborators all over the world, and developing on-the-ground solutions with those collaborators derived from the research that we're doing. We know that there lots of questions and there's a lot of study to be done in this species so we are just trying to see what has been done and what it needs to be done to at least get to know the some basics of the biology and the behavior of this uh, locust. Uh, the, the question is that we learned on the way to work together with uh, the different institutions of the, the different actors uh, stakeholders involved in this problem. One of the main problem is decision making, especially stocking decision making. By understanding the whole system, so by understanding what determines decision making for farmers, so policy and markets, um, cultural practices, those kinds of things, their interaction with the land and how that changes the plant and soil um, and other characteristics of the landscape, how that influences locusts and whether or not we get a locust plague, and then how that in turn affects people. So by understanding all these different components of the system, we can think about new approaches or different approaches to sustainably manage locust plagues while maintaining farmer livelihoods.